All right, uh, Michael Milken is making some news. Charlie Gasparino on who he's been chatting with of late. Yeah, uh, Neil, it's been, I guess, an 18-year process, but the uh, rehabilitation of the former junk bond king, Michael Milken, continues. As you know, he does a lot of philanthropy. He does that very good conference in, uh, in Los Angeles every summer, the Milken Institute Conference. And what we hear, what sources are telling the Fox Business Network, is that he paid a visit yesterday to the uh, white shoe firm Goldman Sachs at the invite of its CEO, David Solomon, and gave us gave a, essentially a, a, a talk, a lecture, uh, meeting privately with partners and managing rec directors to talk about markets, intellectual property, structured finance, you name it. Michael Milken, who, as you know, was the junk bond king, one of the smartest guys on Wall Street for many years, got in trouble when he was at Drexel, spent 22 months in jail, has been out for the last 18 years, but clearly, he's, uh, he's a respected guy in Wall Street, and uh, this is just another example of that. We should point out that Milken maintains a pretty close relationship with Solomon, the Goldman Sachs CEO. They both worked at Drexel together, and I think they stayed in contact over the years. I believe Solomon actually spoke last year at the Milken Institute con conference. Uh, from what I also understand, what sources at the firm are telling us, that he uh, Milken then spoke uh, to the firm employees, and he spoke about his philanthropy and other issues. So uh, this is kind of interesting to me for a couple of reasons. Again, I follow Michael Milken's career. It is a, it's an 18-year odyssey to remake himself. There's a lot of talk in Washington right now about possibly Donald Trump pardoning him from those security fraud charges. I think Rudy Giuliani even put it out there. So it's kind of interesting uh, he, uh, that he makes this, uh, that makes this call to Goldman uh, as this is going on. Uh, whether he does stand a chance with, with President Trump to get a pardon, I can't tell you. The president's been mum on that. But there's clearly people on Wall Street uh, who like Michael Milken, and clearly people in Washington who like him. And uh, 18 years, he's rebuilding his reputation, and it looks like he's done a pretty good job at it. Uh, Neil, back to you. Would a pardon, though, expunge all the stuff that we associate with that period of time? I mean, it'd well, be... I think technically it would, and I, from what I understand, he it's something that he wants. Um, now, you know, we, you, and I will, and journalists will debate forever whether he deserves it whether he was the evil guy. I mean, there's two schools of thought Absolutely. out there. There's Absolutely. the James Stewart who wrote Den of Thieves, which I've read, who said he was a very bad guy, that, you know, his creation of the junk bond market and the leveraged finance buyouts was bad for the economy, bad for the markets. There's others, like the editorial page in the Wall Street Journal, which I more or less subscribe to, that said this guy was a visionary. He brought a lot of great companies public. And he brought a uh, lot of financing to companies that heretofore couldn't have gotten They couldn't have got it. And by mm -hmm. the way, they reduced his charges. Remember, he initially I was going to go away well. for 10 years. He only went away for two for a reason. They That's didn't right. have a lot on him. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you very, very much. Charlie Gasparino.